Primal age. Ah. Take the glare off. I guess that's good enough. Okay. Wow, I've actually had these figures for a very long time and I didn't review them because they showed up periodically, they showed up occasionally, they showed up eventually, ordered them from Amazon. Some speculation is that they were fixing the ones that were breaking and then making new ones. I don't know if that's actually happened. I'm gonna be very super careful with these as I was with my Super 7. 5.5 figures. We're getting these awesome figures. They look awesome. The problem is they're falling apart. Can you consider Funko a small company? I don't know. I mean, perhaps they know vinyl, but they don't know plastics for action figures yet. They haven't gotten that down. Both of them together had a great stint with reaction figures, and that plastic seems to be very durable and strong. Though know, there's some brittler pieces in there. We really need Mattel to step in and join the 5.5 market. They know plastic. I'm gonna open these all up. It's not like I'm gonna split these up. I am splitting up the other things. I opened the castle a very long time ago, and I think I will do another overview of that because mostly it was just my first reaction and it was very exciting. There's a lot of things that are wrong with the castle though, and perhaps I will go over them when I look at the two beasts in the next video. I'm not gonna look at these today. That would be way too much. They look awesome. That is coming soon, hopefully. I've had these figures way too long. They are now showing up at Target, so that's good for you. Bad for me, because why haven't I been playing with these? Let's just start opening them. I better give you an overview of what they look like. The shipments came horrible. The cards were all eaten up, and look at the condition of this card. What is up with that? They're totally in the style of Savage World, but they decided to give them a DC name, DC Primal Age. Funko apparently can have the rights to DC figures. Mattel no longer does. However, Fisher-Price and their baby lines, they can make figures. I'm actually hoping they make the Rescue Hero, DC Rescue Heroes again, because those were pretty sweet figures. Very much like this. They were very hunky and chunky. That is what I like in a figure. So we got Batman and the Joker, King Shark and Scarecrow, Freeze and Aquaman, and we have a Green Lantern and Wonder Woman. It shouldn't be super surprising to me, but I am kind of surprised that people don't like these. Like, I mean, a lot of people do, but a lot of people don't like this style, and I guess it makes sense because they are some kind of mutant, deformed versions of the superheroes that they love. But growing up as a kid, these were the superheroes that I loved. I mean, Masters of the Universe, 5.5 action figures. They were my favorite toy. As soon as Masters of the Universe came out, as soon as I saw them, I stopped collecting all other toys. I had attention for nothing else but Masters of the Universe after that. It was just so perfect and so awesome. I'm not a big Masters of the Universe Classics fan. I was never a big fan of the cartoon either. I just loved the figures, the figures, the original figures, and even right up to the end, I really, really liked them all. The toy, I was all about the toy with Masters of the Universe. So all these different reincarnations and everything, I'm not really into. I do like Super 7's reaction figures though because they look so retro and they look like adventure people. Fisher Price may hold the key to all of the awesome new DC stuff. They have Imagine X and they do make amazing stuff with that. But brands these days anyway, they're just given out their rights to all kinds of toy companies so perhaps one of them will make a version of your property in a way that you love it. They've done it here for me, despite the fact that they all fall apart, despite their legs fall off, despite that they're broken and crumbling. It's okay, because they look awesome. Well, I'm gonna say that now until they break on me. But so far, so good. 
I don't smash them together. I'm not playing rough with them. All of my limbs seem to be on in the packaging. I have seen some Savage Worlds in the store missing legs and stuff. Can I open these already? I feel like I have opened these already. It's because of the Savage World. I guess we start with Batman. Oh, do I want to save these cards? No, they've already destroyed them. The only difference to the card is the name right here. Okay, whoa. <laughs> this review may sound negative, but let me start by saying that these are awesome. <laughs> Even though I'm afraid to move their legs or anything. You can feel when the lag is not turning and then something else is bending inside. You can feel that. So I'm not taking that risk. I'm not going to show you the articulation. Basically, they have five points of articulation. Neck, shoulders, and all joints at the hips. I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to look at them. This guy, I can't stand up. Totally feel like the ball joint doesn't give, but there's a way. I'm just gonna soak them in hot water. So many accessories. Maybe he's my favorite. They all have outfits on that I would totally wear. Except maybe not hers. His arm keeps falling off. Man, that's sad. Anyway, I'm not playing with them. I'm just gonna look at them. So out of all of the Savage World and the Primal Age figures, I don't have the special exclusive translucent one and I want it so bad. I would have totally gone to Toy Fair or was it Comic-Con or maybe it was Toy Fair. No, it was Comic-Con because anybody could get it. I can't get it because I didn't go. And they were giving them away free and it's really upsetting to me because it's the only one I don't have, but it's okay. And it was just a clear translucent version of him. They also have an abundance of awesome accessories, some more than others. Look at the details, look at the translucent cuff on that thing. There's so many accessories to show. He's got like this ice hand, like lion -O has. I also have these to open, but I am still waiting for Hanthro to show up in Canada. So that is when I can review the rest of the Thundercats. I like to open them all together. Why would I open three of them? I'm sure he'll show up at the arm fell off again. I'm sure he'll show up eventually. I better do this faster. I got a lot to get through. There's this really cool ice helmet that goes over Mr. Freeze's head. And it just makes him look more scary. That's what he looked like before. And he has this awesome ice shield that clips onto his arm like that. And he's got this beautiful ice sword. Look at that frosty detailing, all translucent. Again, this plastic is, oh, his other arm fell off. Not exactly proper action figure plastic, so it's hard to get the accessories into their hands. So I guess I'm not gonna do that in this video because I've already taken too long trying. And Oh, I just broke a piece. I don't want anything broken that kills me. So I snapped off the shield. I am not putting anything else in their hands. I don't want a broken piece. So, uh, well, I'm glad I did it in front of you so you could see when I first took Batman out of the package, his leg fell off right away. And inside it looked like this. So people have shown that on the internet where they do have these holes. So there's like this plastic malformation malfunction. And you can also feel that this ball joint, which does pivot around, but it's super, super brittle plastic. It feels really cheap and it's really rough here see all those balls on it that is what people think are causing the joints to break the limbs off so i've got a broken figure i guess i have to get a new one the cape is really cool the cape is made with perfect rubbery plastic can you remove it over his head not really but you can take off their heads quite easily that was the first figure i reviewed and i broke something on it 
<laughs> this shield, <laughs> this is horrible. This shield came broken. So this part came unattached. <laughs> Still love them. This is horrible. Okay, and then beautiful sculpt here. Let's take a look at the sculpt of the shield. This could be glued. That is not a big concern. This is actually broken. That kills me. Um, oh wait, I was so concerned about his leg actually. I was totally afraid to move one of these legs because I could feel the tension. But don't move their legs. These are a lot more expensive for me to get than these things. I can get these at EB Games for $15, which is a pretty good price. I didn't expect these to be so poorly made. I thought it was just Savage World ones. Wow, mine are in bad shape. Okay, let's move on to the Joker. This is what he looks like with his great detail. His feet, they really should have peg holes. I don't know why they don't make every action figure with peg holes. Just the way that they're painted and the details are so awesome and perfect. It is such a shame about the plastic that's used and the craftsmanship. He's got some daggers in his belt and his loincloth hangs down between his legs and the straps. I do wish that more of the pieces were added parts. That was one of the best things about Masters of the Universe, is that their armor, at least in the early years, could be removed. No, I actually don't mind. Like I said, I liked Masters of the Universe all the way through, so I didn't mind when they started sculpting on their armors to give each figure a more unique sculpt, but I really did like when you could remove their armor. Here is his really cool axe. Just the right amount of paint, not putting it in his hand. Here is his shield. It seems to be intact for now. I'm just gonna marvel at it in its glory and not try to use it. There's a picture of himself on it, of course. Just all the details in there. You see the scratches and the rough rudimentary metal. So nice. Well, let's go back over here to Green Lantern. He is the only one I saw a paint miss app on when I was opening. So yeah, he's got a little splatter on his shoulder there. These things don't exactly stay up. It stays up enough, it's loose, it's not a perfect fit. That comes undone quite easy. It's very much like Man-at-Arms though. This is exactly what I wanted to see. But the notches aren't tight enough, they're not molded the right way. But it still looks great! Like again. And the same with his knee pad, right out of Man-at-Arms. He is so Man-at-Arms. His loincloth is much thicker, I guess, than some of the others because I can't get a lot of lag movement out of them. Nor do I want to try, just in case that peg broke off. Harder to stand because of it. And the last awesome accessories, because they're translucent. Love the translucent stuff. Apparently it's brittle translucent stuff. That is his shield. He's got his logo on there. That's how it clips on but it doesn't clip on, don't clip it on. And there is his mace, again, very man-at-arms. And then he's got this very He-Man axe, just a shorter handle on it. All in translucent power-up, super green Wonder Woman. Shh, am I getting over the broken shield? Not really. Ow! Hate having one broken toy. I kinda have to get a new figure. All right, here is her shield. It's a stubby little sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's the thing about these, is that I'm super clumsy. And that's why I'm so scared. It's such a shame. Whoa, whoa! Oh, okay, here she is. I am going to have a new setup around here. I'm gonna get a much thicker table. My table is only a foot wide, if that a very, very thin, so I need to have a sprawling table, and then that way I'm gonna drop a lot less. Luckily, she did not break. This is what she looks like. She's got a little hook to hang her lasso on. Some people say lasso. I think it's lasso. I'm gonna just say rope. And her rope hangs there. And this is her shield. Looks so nice. Don't break it. All right. King Shark, gotta be a favorite. It's 
got like this kelpie loincloth. He's got this really cool shark tooth armor on. Some other shark's mouth tied to his chest. He's got some blood on his neck. I'm sure that is. Oh, no, there's some more blood on his neck. I don't know if those are scratches or just paint mishaps. Oh, there's some more scratches there on his leg. Really cool character. He is missing neck articulation, obviously. This loincloth is made of a very good, soft, rubbery plastic, though. Waist is swiveling. Wait, they have six points of articulation. Did I say five? Yeah, six. He's awesome. <laughs> his accessories are this beautiful hook. So well designed. Everything so well designed. All very bad plastic. That is a fin in water shield. And this great bronzy metallic -y plastic. Let's move on to Aquaman. And he is a much cooler Neptune-y Aquaman. He has an octopus on his shoulder, or is that a squid? A golden one, nonetheless. And he's got this really cool loincloth and detailing on his wrists and ankles. A hook for a hand, a Nordic knot tied beard, a crown, a mullet. Well, it's just long hair. Again, I totally wear this outfit to the beach. I don't know what's going across there. Maybe it's some nets or something. He is the king of the ocean. His accessory is this beautiful trident. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful details. What is this? These are the kinds of figures that you can just look at forever and you'll find new things in the sculpts. I'm not putting that in his hand. Some people get lots of accessories. Some people just get one thing. We're ending on a Scarecrow. He looks frightening indeed. Check out some of his details. Look at his belt buckle even has a crow on it. Got some kind of rib cage chest armor and shoulder pads and wrist guards. Furry underwear, he's got a belt hanging down there. Some straps around his thigh there. Some boards to protect his ankles. Just tied on, beautiful rubber cape, hooded head, yellow eyes. I usually like muted tones and earth tones. Maybe it's the way that he's painted, but I'd have to say he's my least favorite. Save my least favorite for the last. I should like him, but there's just something not as put together as the rest of them. However, his scythe and shield are two of the best accessories. Look at that beauty, beautiful weapon. Dings and the scratches and the leather straps on the wood. Beautiful. And then I love this shield made out of barn boards. A crow is on it. Oh, whoa. And that's the handle. Don't smash that. All right, so that's them. <laughs> that's these figures. These very, very fragile figures. I've had statues that were less brittle than these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really love them, but I really hate them too. Nobody seems to be able to get Masters of the Universe right. There's always something wrong. I haven't been happy since the commemorative one. The commemorative action figures are probably the best thing to ever happen to Masters of the Universe. Loyal subject stuff is pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's going downhill now. Some of the heads are out of scale. I, I really do love these. Even the paint apps are great just really hate what they're made out of. Let me know what you think of my figures that I paid an awful lot for because we don't have targets in Canada. Shipping is so expensive to get these here. You also have to pay custom fees and you have to pay exchange rate and the Canadian dollar just isn't as good. So these were expensive and for them to fall apart, it's pretty horrible. Sure are nice looking. All right, let me know if you think I've been taken for a ride and I am a sucker for getting ripped off. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Which one would be my favorite? Batman has really cool colors. Joker has great details down to the scratched, scarred ha 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 on his chest. This guy wins the award for best accessories. 
this guy's all aquatic and stuff. Like, that's that's my jam. And then this guy's the same way. Like, both of these guys are like, I would, I would wear those outfits. I would go surfing in those outfits. And then Wonder Woman's Wonder Woman. I'm happy that the females have been represented. Awesome armor. She looks kick butt. And then translucent stuff. I am always a sucker for translucent stuff. So he's super cool. Sure wish I had the other one. Sure wish I wouldn't have broken his shield. Kills me. It's broken. It's totally broken. And Green Lantern. Awesome accessories. Even has removable armor. Yeah, he gets the award for removable armor, which is awesome. And Green Lantern has a Green Lantern.